The Lincoln cent is one of the most commonly collected and widely recognized coins in the world. It has been loved by collectors for generations. Designed by Victor David Brenner and first minted in 1909, the Lincoln cent is every much the common person's collectible as it is a trophy for serious collectors. Now, even though the Lincoln cent continues to circulate to this day, many collectors focus on the first five decades of the series, which saw the Wheatback reverse design that debuted with the series in 1909 and lasted until 1959 when the coin began showing off its new Lincoln Memorial reverse. Now, there are a couple of major varieties often collected alongside the regular issue coins, those being the 1922 No D Strong Reverse and the 1955 Double Die. But for today's video, we're going to focus on 10 S-minted Lincoln Wheat Scents that are definitely worth collecting. Now, before I move on to the 10 S-minted Lincoln Wheat Scents that I feel like are worth collecting, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up the key dates of the series. We've all heard about the 09S, sporting a mintage of only 1,825,000. The 09S VDB with a low mint of 484,000 only. The 1914D with 1,193,000 minted. And the 31S with only 866,000 minted. Now that we've mentioned the key dates, let's go ahead and talk about the 10 regular issue San Francisco Lincoln Wheat Scents that I think are worth collecting. The 1910S. With only a mintage of 6,045,000, the 1910S Lincoln Scent ranks as one of the more common early S mint mark dates in the series. It's scarce in all grades and even worn examples can take in $15 in G4 condition. Now, despite being pretty common and affordable in the lower grades, VF being $25, XF is 50, AU is 85, and mint state examples starting off at MS60 are only about $100 plus, the 1910S actually has some of the best strikes of the s minted series. So it is actually a little bit more common to get higher graded coins, even in red condition which is a point that we'll see is a lot more difficult in the other S-Mint scarcities I'll be talking about during this video. The 1911 S. If the Lincoln Cent series ever were to have a fifth key date, then they should consider the 1911 S. The 1911 S only has a mintage of 4,026,000, but it is a far harder date to find when it comes to overall availability. As a matter of fact, PCGS professionals estimate that there's only 40,000 remaining surviving 1911 S's in circulation and in collections, which puts it pretty much up there with the estimated populations of the tougher dates in the series, the 09 S VDB and the 14 D. Fortunately, it's an affordable scent in a brown G4 condition at about 30 bucks. It jumps to 55 in VF, 80 in XF, about 150 in AU, and then to well over $200 plus in the mint state brown conditions. The 1912 S. With only 4,431,000 Lincoln cents being minted from the San Francisco Mint in 1912, this is another low production run for a semi key date coin for Lincoln collectors. Now, while this coin is affordable at only about $15 in G4, $40 in VF, $60 in XF, and $150 in AU, many will say that it's virtually impossible to find a 1912S with full red surfaces. That being said, PCGS has only encapsulated 77 specimens at an MS65 red grade, putting it at about a $1,700 value in the marketplace. The 1913S. With a mintage of 6,101,000, the 1913S Lincoln Cent is one of the more common of the 10 Lincoln Cents I'm talking about here in this video. But don't let that fool you. The 1913S is scarce in all grades and is rare in uncirculated condition and extremely rare in gem red grades. Yes, the coin is affordable in a brown G4 condition at only $15, but the prices jump way up at $80 in XF40 and well over $200 in just an MS60 brown. And 
Their record price of $63,250 was realized in 2006 by a coin graded PCGS MS66 Red, making it one of the most valuable regular issue Lincoln cents at that grade. The 1914 S. About 75 to 80 years ago, the 1914S Lincoln cent was actually considered a top key date and comparable to the price of the 1914D and believe it or not, even more expensive than the 1909S VDB. However, as the years have passed on, we find this is not the case anymore, especially when you look at the price comparisons of the 09S VDB and the 14S in circulated grades. That being said, the 1914S is still a scarce coin across the board. Now, while you can find G4 brown specimens for only $15, the low-end uncirculated pieces go for well over $500. Matter of fact, finding a red gem in the 14S is almost impossible because very few pieces were struck offering both original red coloration and a decent strike. Because of these problems, believe it or not, an MS66 Red 1914S sold in 2006 for over $100,000. The 1915S. A 1915S. Another tough date is the 1915S Lincoln cent with only a mintage of 4,833,000. Now, even though the coin was actually struck pretty adequately, the 15S is not known for offering full red colors something reflected in the estimate that fewer than 500 red specimens exist regardless of grade. Sure, in the lower grades, you can get affordable specimens in a brown condition. A G4 is 20 bucks, a VF is 40, an XF is 60, and an AU is just over $100. But when it comes to mint state 63 brown or better, you're looking at a $500 coin. And like I said, that is in brown. Good luck finding this monster of a coin in a red gem grade. The 1916S. Now I had to include the 1916S Lincoln cent in this list because even though it has a mintage of 22,510,000, it is one of the most difficult ones to get in uncirculated condition. As a matter of fact, PCGS estimates there's only 700 surviving coins in a mint state grade. And of those 700, only 200 are considered full red examples. That being said, it's still a very affordable coin, had only $3 in G4 condition, $15 in VF, $25 in XF, and under $75 in AU. But the coin jumps to over $100 in a mint state brown, and then to well over $500 if you're fortunate to find one in a mint state red condition. The 1921S. Despite having a mintage of 15274000 I had to include the 1921S on my list of collectible S-minute early wheat cents. My reasoning for this is that even though the 1921S cent can be found easily in brown and red-brown grades, all the way up to MS64, after that, it's a difficult one to find in any grade, in any color, above MS64. As a matter of fact, no 1921S cents have been certified by PCGS in an MS66 or better grade, and only 23 cents have been certified as MS65. Luckily, you can pick up low-grade brown examples for anywhere between $5 and $50 if you look around for them. The 1923S. The 1923S Lincoln cent actually had a mintage of 8,700,000. Now, even though this is one of the smaller vintages of the period, it's still a pretty easy one to add to your collection if you're looking for circulated grades. Now, that being said, you can also find mid-state examples as well, but good luck finding them in full red condition. Another problem with this date is the strike. A lot of the coins rolled off the mint with either a weak strike, not full red color, or had a lot of carbon spots. Because of these problems, getting one of these coins into your collection in an MS63 red grade or higher will cost you a pretty penny. That being said, they are affordable in the lower brown circulating grades, anywhere between $8 for a G4 and $50 for an XF. The 1926S. The last coin on my list is the 1926S Lincoln cent, and it's a dandy. With a mintage of only 4,833,000, many collectors have kept their eye on this coin for a long time. 
You can even pick up a G4 Brown coin for only $10. That's very affordable. But affordability is not the name of the game for this coin in the higher grades whatsoever. Notorious for weak strikes and rarely known with original red color, the 1926S is an extreme rarity in an MS65 red where prices reach well over $120,000. With only seven known examples to exceed an MS64 red grade, the 1926S is known as the conditional key for the series. Matter of fact, the record price for this coin is $149,500 in a 2006 Heritage Auctions event for a PCGS MS65 red stunner. Well, there you have it. Those are my 10 non-key date S-minute Lincoln Wheat Cents that I think are worth collecting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and it's something different that I normally post. If it's not something you wanna see in the future, leave a comment down below. If it's something like this you'd like to see on other denominations, also leave that comment down below. Either way, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.